to start off section 1.6 um, I'm going to take you back to when you were just first learning about numbers first you talked about well what is one you know one is just one object and what is two well you know, two is two objects and three and four and so forth you learned what the number was and then you learn various properties like one three and five are even two four six are odd you know two comes right between one and three and so forth so you talked about what the number was then you started talking about properties of numbers and then finally you did arithmetic with these numbers So, you can kind of summarize these three states as saying, you know, what is it? What properties does it have? And then finally, how can we combine these things? And we call the combination of numbers just arithmetic. Well, we're doing the same thing with functions. You know, before we talked about, well, this is a linear function. You know, y equals mx plus b. And perhaps you've even seen and you know, talked about quadratic functions. So y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And then in 1.4 and 1.5, we talked about a lot of different types of functions and how you can move them around and manipulate them. So we've been talking about what functions actually are, what properties do they have, when are they increasing, when are they decreasing, when is a function symmetric, even, odd, you know. How can we manipulate them, an individual function, by shifting and translating it around? And now in section 1.6, we're going to do a kind of arithmetic of functions. We're going to be combining functions together. So, for example, the idea that we're going to be using in this section is that a function is a machine or a process that takes in x values and outputs y values. So if we had two such functions, say an f and a g, we could say add them together, if we gave them the same input, if we gave them the same x value, and then added the results, that could give us something like what f plus g would be. And that's exactly what it is. What I'm diagramming here is the function f plus g of x. All f plus g of x is is to say what's f of x, what's g of x. When I figure out what these two things are, I just add them together and that gives me my y value. I get f of x plus g of x out. And you can do the same thing with subtraction multiplication division or any other familiar operation that you like but with this idea of a function there's actually one more operation we can do and that is to compose two functions together the composition 
And composition is simply stringing two of these machines together. So we take an x value, we put it into the f of x machine, we get an output and plug that directly into the g of x machine. And then whatever we get out of the g of x machine is our y value. This is g of f of x. We took an x value, we ran it through f, and then we ran that output through g. And that gets us g of f of x. And the notation for this function, we're going to call this g circle f. Of X. So whenever you see this, it almost looks like multiplication, but it's not. This is just our way of saying, you know, G is going to be the last thing you apply, F is going to be the next to last, and X is going to be your input. It's kind of like you want to read this right to left. X is going to go into F. Then that is going to go into G. So we're going to define for this operation, we're going to define this to be G of F of X. We're going to define this notation to capture this idea that we can string two functions together so that the input of the whole goes into the first function, F, then the output of f goes into g, and that output is going to be the output of our new function, this composed function. And that gets us all of the basic operations we can do on functions. You can add, subtract, multiply, divide, and compose functions together.